Hello and welcome to Talk Bowling, episode 61. I'm John Congdon. I'm Tony Rucco. Talk Bowling is proud to be bringing you the latest information from the bowling industry, bowling tips, and updates on the largest bowling internet website, bowlingball.com. And you're still using a cheat sheet, and I don't get notes at the end. I barely needed it, though. Barely. All right. <laughs> 61. Obviously, I forgot we were shooting Talk Bowling this morning, so I'm not in our attire. We need to get a second shirt, is what we need to do. I can leave one here. There you go. Or maybe mix it up, have a few different things. Like a wardrobe. We yeah. have a makeup chair. That's a good idea. I like it. Makeup, hair, because you definitely need to fix your hair. That's all messed up. All right, get into questions. Uh, from Master Chief 247 on YouTube, he asks, says, on the revolver video, on Tony's ball, you can see the pin migrate over into a very stable position, which I think is really neat and helpful to see your ball reaction down lane. How would I find the drilling that would do the same for me? Is there a way to compare your PAP distance to different drillings to find out? Or okay. to find it? The answer, Master Chief, is that's not my pin. Uh, I went back and looked at the video. I had John slow it down frame by frame. It's That's actually my thumb hole. Uh, I use a thumb mold and it's gray. That ball's a little darker, so you can see, if you watch it a little closer, you can see that it's definitely my thumb hole. The pin is bright green on that ball, and it's much smaller than what you see. So what you're seeing down there is, is just my pin, or my thumb, I'm sorry, and it's not really migrating onto my axis. It's just getting to a stable point kind of in the mid lane right before the ball comes off the break point. So it sounds like you're wanting to see ball reaction down lane, which you can see, but the easiest way to do it is to put uh, some white bowler's tape on right. your ball. You can put it in some different positions. Uh, you can do it above your fingers, kind of a, a strip going up from above your fingers. You can put a piece from your axis towards your grip. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to do, if you want to check back with us in a week or so, the next time we go out to do a ball video, we'll shoot a video on how you can see your ball motion down lane by using bowler's tape on your ball. But when it comes to what he's saying as far as seeing something in a stable position, isn't that going to be different based on the oh, flare, the flare oh, yeah. potential of the ball is going to be... Yeah, even if you get it... Like, I could take that same ball and throw it somewhere else, and it may not do that. Right. It's, it's where the ball's checking up, where it's reading the friction. It's hard to get that. It's, I think he... Yeah, he, he says in there it's helpful to see your ball reaction down lane. So a lot of people do want to see how the ball... How, how the ball migrates over mm -hmm. and, and kind of continues through the pocket. So you'll see it with tape. Uh, we'll do it. If you already know what I'm talking about, that's the best way to do it. Right. But you still, like you said, throwing a different release, yeah, sure. different oil, anything's going to change that Correct. stable position that, you're, that he's looking for. Right. So, all right, we'll get that video shot hopefully in a couple weeks. Yeah, we have another shoot coming up, I think, next week or the week after. So we'll do it when we go out there next. If we remember, we were supposed to do it last night. All right, question from Reggie M. You guys have done a lot of demos on different balls. I noticed for your layout, sometimes you have the pin above the fingers and sometimes below, stacked leverage. How do you determine the layout you're going to use for a particular bowling ball, or do you just have a favorite layout that you commonly use? This one's all you. Again? I'm doing the questions you do the answers. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, well, my notes were that that was a very good question. Uh, we do try and do a little bit of everything. Some people have sent comments saying, oh, you always do the same layout. Our job doing these ball reviews is to show the ball's potential to the consumer or to the viewer. So we don't get too specialized because when you start to get a specialized layout on the ball, you start to really specialize the ball reaction, obviously. So... Yes, we use our favorite layouts. A lot of times you'll see me use a pin down layout with maybe a lower hole or something. It's because I know it rolls good for me. We have been trying and we've been using John to do the manufacturer's recommended strongest layouts. A lot of our viewers ask that. Our customer service people at bowlingball.com were telling us people wanted to see, you know, Storm says the ball, this is the strongest drilling. Can you do that? So we've been doing that a lot more with John's equipment. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of what the manufacturer's recommended layout would be. Mm -hmm. So we do a little bit of everything. Sometimes we know a little bit about the ball before we put holes in it. So yeah, sometimes we drill the ball because we know about it and we try and make sure it's gonna look good on camera. But that's what we—that's the point. No one wants to see a ball that's only gonna work on one lane condition. They wanna right. get an idea of what the ball does. So we do a little bit of everything, but I think that's a good question. I think it, it maybe needed to be addressed because we've had a lot of uh, 
comments on YouTube where, you know, they're always in the same part of the lane. We don't mix up the condition right at this point because we want to make it fair and, right. and show the kind same of, ball reaction, kind of review. right? Making it the same for everyone. We do want to get into specialized conditions and specialized layouts, but right now, if a manufacturer sends us a ball to throw and put on tape, we want to make sure that everyone can see it on right. a typical house shot. So, exactly. So that's that's what we do. As far as picking a layout for a ball that we're not going to use for a video, it really comes down to knowing what we want that ball to do. Correct. What, what kind of condition we're going to use it on. Are we looking for a smoother, you know, yeah. want to stay a little more right on the lane, or are we look for more hook staying left? So you really need to talk to the person laying out the ball and tell them what you're looking for before drilling it. Makes right. sense. Am I correct in saying that? Sure. All right. This episode is brought to you by Buy Costumes. Buycostumes.com is your ultimate source for various Halloween costumes, accessories, and party supplies for people and even pets of all ages. View over 15,000 items from a wide range of genres and categories. Whether you want to go for scary tactics or cutesy costumes, Buycostumes.com has the most complete set of costumes for you. Talk bowling viewers can save 12% just by visiting www.buycostumes.com slash talkbowling. Help support us by supporting them. Supporting our sponsors. <laughs> uh, it's getting close to that time. Halloween's only a couple months away. Halloween's close, yeah. yeah. We're dressing so, up the dogs this year. All right. You got two dogs now. Yeah, so we're dressing them both up. I didn't see that picture. You can show me. Uh, I'll show you. We'll put it in the show, maybe. Maybe. He's got a little teeny tiny dog now. Three pounds. Three? I thought he was happier, but he's only three. Wow. All right. Answer to last week's question. And the question was, what year did the Olympic Games offer bowler competition? It's only been once in 1936 in Berlin, Germany. Correct. And I can't congratulate anyone because no one answered the question. What's wrong? Come on. They couldn't get to us. Oh, yeah. By the way, if you've tried emailing questions at talkbowling.com for the past, what, four to eight weeks probably? Quit. Since we switched mail servers? Yeah. <sighs> If you tried emailing us, we didn't get them. My fault. I take responsibility. I was getting intense debate. That's different. Yeah. Uh, that's comments when people go to talkbowling.com. And leave wow. Them. So okay. If, if you tried emailing us, please do it again. My fault. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Mm -hmm. This week's question. Hopefully it works. That's awesome. What is the record for the most 300 games in one day? And the answer is... Oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to go. My record's one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm normally done. <laughs> My record is I haven't thrown one yet. I'm finished. All right. Uh, as John mentioned earlier, we were shooting some videos last night, so uh, check it out. Uh, probably next week it'll be up. Uh, we did the Motive Cruel C51. Uh, which is which, a pretty good-looking ball. Yeah, it's... yeah. we're just getting into Motive equipment as far as doing video reviews. They're coming on board. Uh, we've heard good things about their equipment, and it definitely performed well. Yeah. Uh, we also did the new lane one ball, the Pink Panther, which everyone has to see. Uh, it should be up. That product should be up on BowlingBall.com soon. Soon, our video and review will be up as well. It's an interesting looking ball. It's very bright. It is. It's pink. I like it. It rolled well. Uh, it just it was bright pink. I'm using it in league for sure. I'm I'm definitely using it definitely. in league. Yeah. I'm putting you on my roster, by the way. You will sub once. I'll sub once. Okay. I need to get three games and that's it. Why? I've never done that before. Oh, just three games? Yeah. Doesn't count for anything, though. I know. <laughs> All right. In closing, please remember that BowlingBall.com is free shipping on every item every day. There's no hidden packaging fees, no insurance fees. The price shown is the price you pay at checkout. There's been a lot of... Uh, Don't be fooled going. by those other guys. Yeah, there's been a lot. I'm saying it. <laughs> Sometimes discounts just offset some other hidden fees. So check out BowlingBall.com. Please compare your final price when you are shopping. It just makes sense. No matter, not just bowling, but anywhere on the internet. Take everything into Why account. You? You're like an internet counselor. I know. Please take my advice. It's very important. <laughs> You'll save money. Have a good one. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Talk Bowling episode 61. I'm John Condon. I'm Tony Rico. You scared me. I'm sorry. We're going to have to start over. I wasn't ready. How did I scare you? Like you this? screamed. That's not screaming. You scared me. Like I knew it was coming and I was scared. Wow. You're weird.
Good. Very strange. No, don't do it. You and your... No, I was moving away, so I wasn't so scared. Good. <laughs>